Good afternoon. My name is Bradley Rosencheck, organist here at Broadway, and I welcome you back to this day's uh, Linton recital as part of the Broadway series. For those friends joining online, thank you for joining us. We continue this um, week's journey with today with Mallory McHenry, McHenry on harp. Uh, tomorrow we have services in the evening and Friday evening and of course Sunday morning. Uh, all of those will be filled by powerful music from the chapel choir, the chancel choir, Michael Shee, who is co uh, concert master of the Fort Worth Symphony, the Festival Brass, the Mighty Clyburn Organ, and of course for the first time in a few years, the voices of all you in the congregation. So we're looking forward to Sunday morning. We hope you can join us. Again, I do ask you hold your, to hold your applause until the end of the uh, offerings this morning so we can remain in quiet meditation in between them. Today we do welcome Dr. Mallory McHenry to Broadway. Uh, she is currently on faculty at TCU, but uh, this fall she'll be returning to her alma mater, uh, University of Texas at Austin, to join their faculty. So we uh, congratulate her on that new appointment. This week we've experienced the many colors of the organ these past few days, but today we'll be moved by the sweet sounds of the harp. There are numerous mentions of the harp throughout the scriptures as an instrument of praise and of calming presence. 1 Samuel 16, 20, 23 says, And it came when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul that David took a harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil departed from him. It is our hope you'll be refreshed today, that your spirit will be made right, and your heart prepared for the coming days as we continue on this journey. Good afternoon, everyone. It's really nice to see your faces here in this beautiful sanctuary that you all have. I am very, very excited to be here and join you all this afternoon um, in your celebration of Lent. And I would like to start the program off, and we have a beautiful, very calming program planned. Um, I would love to start the program off with two pieces, um, the WC, the first arabesque, and the second piece being the theme and variations in C minor by Haynes. And then I will come back and I will chat with you all a bit about the rest of the program. So thank you, and I, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. 
The lovely pieces of both WC and Haynes. Um, I feel really relaxed right now, I'm sorry. Um, the both beautiful pieces. Um, for the next part of the program, I wanted to talk to you all a little bit about these pieces, um, what they are and what they mean to me. Um, so the first um, set of pieces, Gestures in Sepia and Meditation, are both by composer Florence Price, African-American woman composer Florence Price. And the last piece, um, four seasonal sketches, both the first and the last movement, are by African-American composer Betty Jackson King. Um, and both of these pieces I took from original form, which were for um, piano solo, and transcribed them so that harpists are able to play them now. Um, so these are, it was a very big project, and it was very near and dear to my heart for many reasons. Um, and I hope that you all enjoy these pieces and go and listen to them in other forms as well once you leave here today. Um, and then if it's okay with you all, I have, um, I, I'm, I'm being moved right now to offer a hymn of praise and worship and thanksgiving um, at the end of the program, um, the good old faithful hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. So please enjoy the rest of the program.
Thank you very much. I, I really enjoyed playing for you all today. Um, I would love to chat with you all, get to know some of you if you'd like. I'll, I'll be up here. So thank you so much for today. This has really been really nice. Thank you.